Good morning, everybody. We at the garden again. Ah, uh, what are we gonna do today? Well, I guess what I'm gonna do is get hold of the uh, put the scratchers on the cub, and I'm gonna run them through this lower garden, kind of see if I can relieve some of that weed pressure. Uh, may get the hoe out, thin this okra out some. I'll just work on that a little while. Probably won't knock it all out today. Just try to do a little bit of morning when it's cool. And uh, and then piddle around the shop. I got a few little things I'm gonna work on in the shop. And uh, kind of go from there. Well, all right, let's get this day going. All right, this is my setup. I'm gonna put these little old scratchers right here on there and see if I can't go and just lightly scratch some of them weeds before they get too heavy. These little old scratchers were set up for the 140 that I, that I sold a while back. I don't know if this thing can, uh, I don't know how four of them's gonna work on this. Of course the rows are the same width mostly i think the last one's just 52 and these are 47 so these rows are actually a little closer together with this cub all right let me uh let me get these on here let's go drag them through some dirt and see what happens all right got them on there reasonably level reasonably square with each other Go take them out in the field, see what happens. I may try out my lead tractor mount. What do you think about that? As long as I don't need that brake pedal, it'll be alright. scratchers through the garden got it cleaned up a little bit and we're gonna head over to the nut and bolt house and get some uh, nuts and bolts and different things and uh, get a little bite to eat get back down the shop and get a couple more little things done and uh, we'll catch you up with you then ah i didn't quite make the lunch my mind was going too uh, fast for me to go get something to eat there's how it turned out. There you go. Check that out. Two conical nuts for the price of one. Now, you know, I'll give it a little bit of thought. <clears throat> if I was going to do a bunch of these things, I'd take a whole long bolt like this in here. Got a nice long round shank on it. Cut the head off of it. Put it over on that lathe. And then I'd screw the nut up on it, put a lock nut behind it, and I'd cut the taper on it with a lathe and be done with it. And just swap them around and around until I got a bunch of them done. That worked like a charm. But what I ended up doing, and this wasn't a bad deal either. It, it didn't take just a few minutes. Was I took my cordless extension, 
inch and a quarter socket. I stuck that big old long bolt in there, put me a 45 degree mark right here. Is that what angle it is? Put it up against my belt and uh, cut the angle on it. Just held it there and let it go round and around and grind that angle on there. Then when I got it ground on both sides, uh, I took this little old scribe tool here. You can do it with anything really. And I described the middle of it and then went around it with my little band saw and cut it in half. And I smoothed it up a little bit on the belt sander. And then I had a little old edge actually on both sides that I thought might uh, make for a good splinter. So I got the little rat tail file, kind of cleaned it up. Now I can make a bunch of these things. Now they're $25 a piece on the internet plus shipping. But I don't need a bunch of them. I just need a couple of them. But I tell you what, next when I go back over there to get the rest of my stuff, because they're gonna order, they're gonna order me ten of these. I got all the nuts I need. I wanted five of these, but I really only needed one for this piece right here. Um, yeah. I don't need, I don't need, I just need, I don't need a long, that, that long one on this. So I've got all these bolts I need. And all right, anyways, I just thought I'd share that little, uh, uh, little moment there with you. Wasn't that big a deal. Now, if I could figure out how to make wedge bolts, hey, I'd be on top of the game. Uh, I say make them without uh, spending a half a day on each of them. Right now, I think my best bet is probably just to pay somebody $25 a piece for them and go on about my business. All right, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go throw me a salad in the middle of a plate. And, uh, you know, I'm, since the cardiologist says my veins is clogged up, and, Need doctor said I was just too fat, need to lose some weight. I'm trying. Anyways. Ah, right, let's get with it. Let's get a little bite to eat in that stomach. We may come back down here and piddle around with something and uh, go from there. I, I'm probably, uh, well, I don't know. I'm gonna do anything to the cub. All right. We'll see what happens. This could be the end of the video or it could just keep on going. Who knows? Yeah, we made it back down to the shop. Sure did. And here's what I'm gonna do with these two nuts. I was, uh, I was looking at the invoice on them over there. They are $3.25 for the long for the long, well, they were together, you know, I had to cut them in half. So I ended up with two of them. What's that, a dollar and fifty, dollar sixty-two cents. So that worked out pretty good, dollar sixty-two cents a piece. And here's where I'm gonna put these heavy nuts. And I got the old nut, I'm gonna put it on here. And let's see if I can set that camera down right there. stuff up here and that's the new bolt I got for it and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount it on this little old tool bar over here and get it under the tractor ah, let's see what I can do here I'm just pedaling around, taking care of a few odds and ends thing. Alrighty. That's going to go toward the front. These are going to go toward the back. This is what we're going to do. Right. 
One thing I don't like about what I'm doing here is this is a pretty heavy apparatus to be putting under there. It don't seem all that heavy, but you keep adding stuff to it. Next thing I know, it's done got heavy on you. And probably the only thing I'm going to use this for is laying back. Now that one right there, well, I haven't got no, I haven't got my toe on there yet. Everything I've seen about these things hasn't been good. Everybody says we just stop up and clog up and all that. I'm thinking about just spreading this open just a little bit. Give me a little more room in there. And maybe, you know, maybe it won't clog up. I don't know. It's just an idea. I like it, though. It's a rough looking old piece, but hey, it's still very usable. Alright, let me get this over and get it under the tractor. I gotta get the uh, scratchers off of it right now. All right, here's what I'm doing. Y'all remember Saturday a week ago, I went running off to get this little contraption and a little part of, you know, it's a rusted, it's a rusted mess, ain't no doubt. And I, I give $50 for that thing right yonder. What I wanted was these things. I already had this and I knew it fit a cub. Uh, the one that came off of this frame, this bar sticks up over in the middle of the tractor and it would not work at all under a cub, but this one will work under a cub. It's just the right length. Uh, I paused the camera a while ago because I had this flipped around backwards, my foot in front, which seemed okay. Then I got to looking at it, I said, well, it'd be kind of a bit more difficult for my tube to get down in that chute, so I just flipped it all around. I don't see no problem with that. Seemed like to me it makes it a little more accessible. I'm going to put this, I'm going to pin it on there where it's supposed to go. And I got the bar that goes from here back to the, uh, up yonder 
that should lift it. I'm just going to see if it'll actually lift. I can get a wheel for it. Be nice to have them little cultivators right there, them little discs, but uh, they look like it'd be real handy for a covering the seed up right before the wheel runs over. Uh, I don't know if I'll even use this frame, but I do know where another few of them are. But it's got some good parts on it. I mean, it's still got a pretty good little sweep. I've seen them more slap out. The frame itself's okay. This little old deal here is about as rusted up as something can get. Uh, another little, yeah, that's just a clevis. So I could make that work. Yeah, uh, getting them little old wheels might be a deal. And their turns. I mean, you clean it up your new grease fit, and then it worked fine. Supposed to be a little uh, scraper back here that scrapes the wheel. All right, let me let me go get some pins and we'll put it in and see what it looks like. Oh, I don't see no reason why that wouldn't work. It had a wheel on the back of it. a bunch of different ones of these things I know most of the one I've seen are made like this right here ah uh, I'm looking for it's not over there what I'm looking for is right here beside me most of the ones I've seen have these on each side and the frame just came out over here and attached to it really wasn't much difference it was just you know something made a little bit different probably a lot of parts is interchangeable well that's interesting to know right there that that wheel fit if i could find a wheel and a little small coulter and, and get that right chunder all freed up this would actually be useful for planting if i were to plant with my cousin all right, I guess this is a good place to wind this video up. I have accomplished a little bit today. Haven't set the world on fire, but got a little bit done. I'm going to, I think before I go to the house, the next thing I'm going to do is take off, you know, these square bolts and put my heavy, heavy nuts on there. And... Uh, that way they'll all be the same. That's what I'm trying to do is just kind of get some uniformity and uh, get away from square nuts. I, I don't I don't dislike them. If I was restoring something for a show, every one of them would have a square nut on there. But I just figured it'd make it a little easier on me, you know, if I had that one wrench. And I still carry a crescent wrench. You know, hey, I got a whole bunch of tools I carry with me. Usually the truck's out there, and it's got a toolbox in the back of it. But anyways, I'll try to edit this old video down, or it's just some of the little spots where I've done something. Wife well, wants me to change oil in her car, too. I might try to get that done today. I don't know. All right, we'll catch you on the next one.